There aren't a ton of features that Apple has sort of pioneered or popularized that I look at and think, man, I really wish that my Android device had that. There's only been like a handful of these sort of examples. I think the most recent one has been MagSafe. I got a MagSafe compatible case for my S23 Ultra and this little grip thing that attaches to the back of it. And it's awesome. As soon as I attached it on there and felt how good it felt, it's like, man, this is a really great idea. Wireless chargers and things. This is very smart. MagSafe is very good. I'm glad it's actually going to be kind of coming to other devices as well, not just through cases, but actually built in as this does become like an open source Maybe is open source the right word? Anyway, it's going to be proliferated to other pieces of hardware. But another one that I really, really like and I've gotten like a small taste of with my Samsung devices is having something like their Find My Network, which is this really neat thing where all these iPhones are sort of interconnected. So if you've got your iPhone or your AirPods, let's say your AirPods, and they fall out of your pocket, they're sitting there on a park bench someplace. Anytime somebody walks by with an iPhone, the iPhone says, oh, hey, there's a set of AirPods right over there, and it picks them up, it detects them, and it uploads that location to their Find My Network. I believe that this is, in fact, how this works. If I'm wrong about some of these details, shoot me. I'm not an Apple person, but I think this is how this works. It picks it up, uploads, and then you can then look on your phone, go into the Find My stuff, and see that's the last place that my AirPods were spotted by another device on the Find My Network. Now, that device that spotted it, that user doesn't get a notification that says there are AirPods nearby that you can go steal. I mean, it'd be picking up AirPods everywhere they went, in people's pockets and so forth. But anything that works with that Find My Network, their little Air Tags, all of these things work this way. And because there are so many Apple products around, if you lose something, it's going to be constantly be updated to, to determine where it is. And it doesn't require a network connection, right? So your AirPods aren't connected to Wi-Fi or to data, but they don't need to be because there's so many Apple devices around that are. It sees it. It locates it. The location gets updated. Well, this is something I've really wanted on Android. And like I said, Samsung kind of has something a bit similar. So like my Samsung phone, I've got a tracker on my keychain. Of course, their Galaxy Buds do something very, very similar, but I want something that is ubiquitous, not Samsung specific, because when I put my SIM back into my Surface Duo 2, well, it doesn't know anything about where my Buds 2 Pros are or where the smart tracker on my keys are. If I lost my keys, I'd have to grab my Samsung phone to determine where they were. Even if it's a phone that I'm not using at that moment, that's how that would work. So having something from Google directly would be a really big deal. This was a long intro, but this is where we're going. An exclusive from 91 Mobile's Google working on Find My Device feature even when phone is turned off. And of course, as they say here, that is similar to Apple. That's a big piece of what Apple has gotten unequivocally right with their Find My Network. That makes a really big difference. The device doesn't even have to be on to be picked up by another device on the network. So scrolling down in this article, the feature will be called Pixel Power Off Finder, at least on Google-specific phones, which tells you it's going to have a name for Pixel phones. But if we read further on here, Google has apparently shared the early source code of Android 14 with OEMs that are enrolled in the EAP to basically have them go ahead and start working on their own integration into this Find My Network. Google is tipped to be working on building a huge network of all Android devices, including support for ultra-wideband locator tags like the AirTags. And of course, we've heard rumors that Google is making their own AirTag competitor, which is internally codenamed Grogu, which is quite adorable. Now, as you read further on in the article, you will see that this is going to require the ability for the Bluetooth chip to remain on in upcoming phones and devices. And it's unclear what devices already on the market will have that capability. It's also unclear if you have an older phone that can't keep the Bluetooth chip on when it's turned off, how it will be able to participate in this Find My Network. Theoretically, they could still be able to ping other devices, right? They could still be findable even if they're turned on, but you know, maybe when they turn off, they're no longer able to participate in this network, but there's still a lot of utility to be had when they're on. So hopefully they're not totally disqualified from being able to participate in this because the more devices that are participating, the better that network is. Because just like with Apple's thing, imagine you've dropped your AirPods in the park bench, but let's say we live in a place in the world where no one carries Apple products. No one has an iPhone. No one walks by that iPhone. The last place it's gonna be known is the last place you were at with your iPhone. So if you leave and then a bird carries it off, 
you're going to go back to that park bench and if no one had walked by to update the location, you're not going to know where it is. So if it is truly ubiquitous and all Android devices are able to tap into this, you're going to know where your stuff is if you leave it behind pretty darn well because there are a lot of Android devices roaming around the countryside. Of course, this stuff, as it said there in the article, is set for Android 14. So we're not like a super far uh, distance away from that. We might be seeing Android 14 with the Pixel uh, 8 coming up here this fall. So who knows? Hopefully this stuff is rolled out and it's talked out, talked about a lot at the, uh, not the next Google event because that will be Pixel 7a, Pixel Fold, Pixel Tablet. But maybe in the next event, we'll have Pixel 8 and the Grogu tags, and it'll be a big feature to be talked about then. Personally, I think that that does make a lot of sense, and who knows, maybe even these newer Pixel devices coming or to be shown off in May and launch probably in June, maybe they'll have the hardware already in them to be able to do this. They'll be kind of back-channeled into it once this is uh, actually rolled out later on in the year. Guys, thanks for watching. I will drop a link to 91 Mobiles down below. Go give them a click because they, in collaboration with Kuba, who you've seen me uh, cite many times on this channel, they are the ones that did the legwork finding out this information. So go give them a click. Give them a little bit of traffic. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.